And by the way, for those that are wondering, for those that are wondering, by the way, why I'm griping so much, of course I'm not entitled to a woman, but the thing is, I've never had a great time with a girl in my life. I have never had a one-on-one -on -one encounter, a great time with a female in my entire life, and I can confidently say that. Secondly, as many jobs as I've worked, I'm not saying or claiming I've worked out work you watching. I'm, I am not saying that I've worked longer than you, my viewers, but I've been around block a few times, and I've had had close to 40, I'd say closer to 42 different jobs counting temp work in my entire life. Granted, I've only been in the workforce close to damn near 20 years, which, you know, I'm not going to say that's a hell of a long time, but it's a good amount of time. And I never once in my life, in all those working years, and most of my jobs have been, ta been in, taken place that I've had um, involved physical, manual, really difficult physical work labor. I mean, I'm talking about slave wage, um, making next to nothing, stuff like that, you know, um, odd jobs, you name it. Uh, manual laborer all, over, all across the board. Yeah. I've lifted furniture, worked for two men in a truck, I've done warehouse work, you name it. I've had jobs that are physically so tough that my muscles have give, given out before because uh, of the, the, the workload and the uh, weight of the stuff I had to lift. I've lifted futons a few times in my life by myself. Um, I'm not trying to brag or sit here and boast and shit like I'm, that's not my objective, it's not my point, I'm just saying that in all those years that I've worked and had different jobs, I've had a variety of different t t t jobs. I've never, not once, have I come home to a sexy female. Not once have I ever opened the door after hard days of work and been greeted by a female, had, let alone a woman making me a meal. I've, only Sabrina made me cheesy rice back in 2005. That's the most I ever got from a woman making me food. By and large, all in all, I've been taken advantage of. The woman that I did meet or come across in my life through dating sites, I had, in order for me ever even to meet anyone one-on-one -on -one or in person was, it ha I had to resort to paying money for a dating service on the phone. And even when I did meet up with some few females, I got taken advantage of. I got, my, I got, my money got took whatever, you know, I got taken and uh, screwed, tattooed, blued and screwed basically. I mean, I never had any good encounters with females, is what I mean to say. And I'm a nice guy. If I had a woman, I'd buy her flowers, I'd buy her bubble bath, I'd buy her chocolate candy, I'd do a lot of nice things. I'd buy her a new purse, I'd buy her a bracelet, I'd treat her like a queen. I'm a deep down a good person, you know. There's no darn reason that I have to be alone or alone all, you know. I mean, it's one thing if I would have dated a girl for two years or three years, but for only two months in my whole life, and I'll be 39 years old, and I never really even had a BJ, and I've never eaten pussy, I've never... Never, I never ate a woman out. I've never, a woman's never swallowed me before. I mean, I've never French kissed. I've never, most I've ever done was hold hands with someone once or a few times in my life. Um, I just think it's pathetic. I just think it's depressing. And it's, whenever I see hot chicks, it teases me and depresses me. I don't know. Like, I want to know what it's like because I've never experienced things. I'm curious. I want to know what it's like to, um, to feel um, a woman, like to suck on a woman's, tits you know I've never done that before you know I've, I want to know what the uh, um, sensations like I, I'm curious because these things I never experienced it's not you know I feel like I'm sexually deprived you know I don't know it's frustrating I'm I'm a Scorpio my zodiac sign Scorpios are famous for being horny and thinking about sex all the time sex is natural it's normal it's we as human beings we all think about it I mean but it's one thing to think about it and wonder and wonder and wonder and imagine and imagine but not getting the real thing it, it sucks you know it's like it's just it's irritating I mean maybe one day I could land myself with a woman I don't know maybe I could meet someone one day it's a shot in the dark for me to ask someone out I don't know I mean I could try dating sites I know people say about like plenty of fish wanted money just to correspond with people and every site they act they pretend it's free but it's really not free and I'm so sick of these um, spam crap mail that I get in my junk. It's, it's just junk mail I get in my Yahoo. It's like every time they're like, it's, I get them left and right. Every time, every day I get them like a shit ton of these and I'm sick of it. I mean, they send me these messages like, well, check my profile out. But by the time you check it out, you have to verify your darn age. And they ask for your credit card number, which is typical, typical crap. You know, it's irritating. And 
I get so sick of it, you know, I just wish I could just put an end to it all, you know, just, I don't know, I just felt compelled to do this video for some reason, because I, I know there's a million of guys out there that have one night stands and are players, and I'm not that kind of guy. Um, I guess because I have an old soul. I'm, I know that, you know, it just gets me, it irks at me, because it's like I know that there's, I've seen pictures of even lesbians that have fun, and you could laugh at me or call me whatever, but I've fantasized or imagined even being a female, like a hot blonde, and thinking I'd have more fun as a blonde. You know how they say have, well, girls have more fun than guys, and being a blonde, they have, they like to have fun. Well, I even thought in my mind, there it's dawned on or crossed my mind a couple times in my life, well, I don't even mind being a blonde chick, you know, at least I'd have a chick to have fun with, you know? I mean, now, me being a man, I'm constantly alone. What fun is that, being alone all the time? I might as well be in a nursing home, right? At least females seem to have more fun than guys do. I mean, they have kinky fun. I mean, I've seen lesbians kiss, and I think there's nothing wrong with it. I like seeing girls go out and kiss, and shit, I think that's sexy, uh, seeing two females or having a threesome. I've never even had a threesome or a twosome, or even really a twosome in my life. I don't know. I don't even know what it's like to have a threesome. I don't know. It's just, I could mumble, mumble all and on, but it's not going to get me anywhere, so what's the point? I just was compelled, like I said, to do this video. And, and then I, I also want to do a video talking about my past life, talking about my history of my life, and talking about my past and stuff. I, I think that would shed some light for my fans and for you viewers on, on where I'm coming from because it's very deep. I mean, it's not just what you think it is. I used to have, like, rituals and compulsive behaviors and different things I'd have to when I was growing up as a kid years ago when I was, like, 14, 15, 16, I don't know, and I, I just turned 38 recently, I'm still pretty young, I'm a young buck, but still, I mean, a lot of you guys are young Smurfs watching me out there, and you know, a lot of you Smurfs out there, but you know, it is what it is, but thanks for watching, and drop me some comments below, and I got this video and another one I did, so, a peace out and take care, and I'll see you guys uh, soon enough, adios.